So Mustang, I want to officially welcome you to the show, actor, exotic dancer slash performer. Um, Y'all know this guy, man. You've seen him on all the Queens men, kill it. You've probably seen him on Twitter as well, killing it too. And um, your face and your name is out here, brother. So I want to officially welcome you to the show, Mustang. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, my boy. Hey, now one thing I noticed too, man, when I went to go do my research on you, a lot of my uh, female followers follow you too. <laughs> so I was like, oh shit. I'm like, they're going to be happy I'm bringing him on the show. So, um, by the way, um, well, actually, no, I'll get to that part next. Let's get into this part first. You were supposed to have been in a the baby video, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. So tell us what video that you were actually casted to be a part of. Um, it was called Project Chicks. He recently um, just did that here in Atlanta. We actually filmed for that on July the 31st. Okay. And when you actually got like booked for that video, <clears throat> What were like the requirements of your role? What were you told or were you given any details at all? So, so let's talk about it. Um, definitely was just given a detail to be myself. Okay. But, uh, <clears throat> it wasn't a thing that I thought about what happened back with him in 2021. Um, I wasn't thinking about sexuality. Um, literally my agent said, Hey, he's casting for a role. I'm gonna submit your pictures. I'll let you know what he say. Right got back with me they said you were handpicked i just want to capitalize off that i was handpicked to do the video okay and so uh i got the set i filmed the video everything went smooth people on set loved me i loved them uh the baby definitely showed me so much love on set everybody was like bro yeah like he's definitely fond of you you know it was a cool vibe everything right. was great and then the trailer dropped the day before my birthday which was and you were cut and you were cut out of the trailer. No, no, I was all over the trailer. And then after life started lifing and uh media started meeting, yeah. He decided to cut you out the video. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so so after life got the life, and so from what I took from it was like once the trailer was released, people started what flooding his DMs with this is who Mustang is, or this is what he used to do. Um, what, so, what, what's the issue exactly? So I can't tell you for sure what happened in the DMs, uh, but I do know that a couple of people began to tag him. A lot of people were saying, yo, you're homophobic, but you got Mustang in your video, yada, yada, yada. So I get a call from the agent like, hey, it's been a lot of backlash since we dropped this trailer. Um, we're kind of talking about everything. I'll get back to you just... Don't respond. Don't say anything to people. I'll let you know what's what. I was okay. like, oh. Uh, but basically, people started tagging me. Bloggers started tagging me. People just kind of kept it going. And it was just so much pressure about who I am and what I've done as it relates to the community uh, on the entertainment side until it just it was a little overbearing. What, for him or for your side? For me, for sure, but I can imagine for him as well. Okay. Because, you know, I saw a lot of people saying in the comments, like, oh, well, you know, um, Mustang is a porn star. Like, what do you expect? Or a lot of people that do adult films have to deal with this or, or who do OnlyFans have to deal with this. But I feel like that's not really a big deal in 2023. Like, I agree with you. I don't necessarily think it's a big deal. Um, I think people make a big deal what they want to make a big deal. Yes. I'm all about maturity. And a lot of people say, bro, well, why didn't he say anything to the baby up front about his sexuality, knowing he don't like gay people, whoop, 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 whatever, whatever. That wasn't a requirement, and it was never about that. So why does that matter? I don't think I don't think it should matter. I mean, first off, let's be real. You're in the industry. Uh, the entertainment industry, so you can vouch for this. Most of the entertainers are bisexual anyway in Hollywood. That's just a fact. Whether they're out or not, it's a whole nother story. Whether they consider themselves gay for pay, whatever. But a good 90% of this industry is fluid, point blank. So they can hate on somebody who's more open. And let's just ask, 
or you are you gay for a pay or are you actually gay? How do you identify? So I, I like girls and guys. So I would oh, say you're bi. Yeah, yeah. I, I would definitely say okay. bi here. Uh, just to own my present state. I mean, you know, I have more of a thing with guys than I do girls, but I entertain both. Okay, absolutely. Um, like I said, that's most of the industry. I don't know why they acted like it's not. And I'm assuming the role that you were casted for was what was it? Security or like strong guy, buff dude? Strong buff, no security. You know, just being a hood nigga in the hood. Which you fit that profile. No shade. That's you look. I'm just saying, you you fit that profile, which should have been fine. So, you know, me looking at it from the outside, looking in, it's absolutely just the fact that he didn't want to be connected to a gay porn star. That to me, that could be the only issue. Because if if you was only if you only performed with women, I don't feel like it would have been that big of a deal. If it would have been uh Ricky Johnson, James Angel. Um, Mazzy to go. I don't think he would have tripped like he did with you, right? Right, right, or his team. It might not have been him, it could have been his team, to be fair. To be fair, I agree. I think, however, though, it would have been a good look to have kept you in the video and shown that listen, this man's sexuality has nothing to do with the role. Number one and number two, we actually would have some proof that you ain't actually homophobic, the baby. I'm just saying. And then number three, the media has taken this and made my sexuality have everything to do with the role. And it's just so misconstrued, it, bro. Like people, the way people look at things, I feel like the objective in life is to be able to listen with the understanding. And so yes. if you both talking and your opinion differs from mine but i say i'm for you i don't have anything against you and i'm trying to relate to you i'm gonna have an open mind to what you're saying i'm not going to automatically shut what you're saying down or make what i say law if there's no evidence to prove that what i said was law absolutely absolutely i think that as a people we are just heavily homophobic and a lot of people don't want to admit it um i think in the community and i mean black community i think that most people they tolerate gay people but they don't really fuck with gay people like that for real and when shit like this happens it becomes very apparent do you mind speaking on a little bit of like how you got in the industry just so people get a better understanding of like what it is who you are kind of like you know i'm not saying speak on everything you've been through but like how did you how did you get in this line of work so, so I'll, I'll break it down. I was fresh out of a marriage, um, divorced from my wife, lost okay. my job, relocated, didn't have anything, uh, ended up getting introduced to some people, getting connected. And I was after fast money. So that's kind of how I broke into the industry. Like, okay, what can I do to get ahead? Not knowing that it was creating a platform for me as well. Mm. Gotcha. And I mean, have you always been, I'm assuming you were even buff like this back then? Not quite. I was a tad bit smaller, but I've always worked out. I've always been physically fit. So uh wasn't as big as I am now, but yeah, definitely. I was still, you can see Jim on me. About got that. you. Got you. So yeah. Yeah. So it only makes sense. You use really literally what you had to make a living. I don't really understand the backlash that you're getting because party B used to be a stripper. Eve was a stripper. I'm trying to think. So many of our female rappers stripped and did some form of what they call sex work even before they became mainstream. So I still go back to say it cannot be just about the porn. It has to be about the gay part that people are, that they just can't seem to get past, right? Do you right. feel like now you're going to be typecasted into gay roles only, or how do you feel about that? Um, This has definitely had like a major impact as it relates to my career moving forward and what I'm currently doing. Uh, I do think people will try to typecast me, but I don't let people put me in a box, bro. So I just got to keep working. I got to keep making moves. I got to keep maneuvering. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I just got to, you know, do what I need to do so that I won't be typecasted. Absolutely. You know, what's also so interesting, the very same people that's going to judge you in the comments will subscribe to your shit. If we're being real. 
just just out just out of curiosity, even like I said before we started the camera, even when I went to go do my research on you, even though your face did look familiar already, like I'm like, damn, I follow some more. She follows him. I follow such and such. She follows him. I'm pointing that need. I'm just saying, like, I'm like, you have a fan base and you are already somewhat mainstream. So it's just it's weird for me for an industry that is actually so gay to have an issue with somebody who's bisexual. I, it's very hypocritical to me. So, so here's the thing, right? As to females, they can get away with it. They can like a nigga all day long. They can fuck with a nigga if they decide to experiment with a girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, get some head, get some bread, and leave. Oh, okay, now I just had a moment. Niggas don't care nothing about that. But the moment a nigga move around or had something happen or, you know, yo, they anybody find out that you slept with a dude... Oh my God, you're the biggest, all of these things. And my thing is, why can't you just be who you are, like what you like? There are some people who are loud about it. There are other people who are not loud about it, but that doesn't mean you're not proud of who you are. You just live your life a certain way, you know? Absolutely. And and that should be your choice. We live in a country with free will. So um, it's just an internalized homophobia, man. It's, 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 it's sad. And, and then, I mean, if we really want to go there, can we also just talk about how even amongst the gay community, there's like bottom shaming that definitely happens a lot. So to me, that kind of don't make sense either because it's like without, without quote, a bottom. Unquote, somebody in the bottom, who are you going to fuck? Like, what do you, are you going to just sore fight? Or are you going to just have oral sex and that's it? Like yeah. some, somebody got to take it. So just saying, um, so, okay, so your story went viral. Shay Room talked about a neighborhood talk, all that. Has anybody from the baby's team reached out? And I mean, anybody? No. And, and, and here's the thing. Okay. Pe people want me to be upset with him. After I kind of just looked at everything and I saw what happened, I was upset with people not necessarily exposing me but but more so just bringing attention to something that did not matter because they had canceled him and was upset with him but at the right. same time attacking me i was more upset with the people who decided to release that information and then i was a little disappointed in him because like you said it was a moment for him to prove like okay y'all sitting this information in my lap as it relates to him but that wasn't my experience with him on set. You know what I'm saying? This is work. I didn't experience that. That's not my business. I'm going to keep him in the video. So a part of me is kind of like, bro, what was the point? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it's it's almost like he fell for, it is like he fell for the okie doke again, because I, if I was his PR, I would have been like, shit, you need to fucking dap him up, have a conversation, shit, go out to the club, like, Go to the strip club with homeboy. Like y'all really could he he really could have really repaired his image. I think he just fell victim to the internet trolls. Um, and he's deathly afraid of being canceled again. So he just said, Fuck it, I don't want no parts of it. Right, right, right. Which is a shame. I mean, and there's nothing against the baby, but it's interesting how in in our black culture, you know, somebody who threw their baby mama out <laughs> with a newborn and cheated on this one and that one is perfectly acceptable, but let you be bisexual and it's like, oh, nobody can touch you or you can only do gay shit. It's just, it's weird to me. But here's the thing. I, I saw a lot of comments and people on the media saying, well, you knew the baby was homophobic. Why did you do that? For me, anytime I accept a job, I'm 100% about the job. I don't have my emotions involved. I don't have my right. Involved. It's never personal for me. And so a lot of people lack the wisdom in knowing that just because the baby was loud about being homophobic does not mean that somebody else around you isn't homophobic because they're not vocal about it. Exactly. Don't talk about it don't mean they're not homophobic. So if you go to a job and you begin to put your sexual orientation on the line or make your sexual preference the agenda somebody can be against you and you would never even know it because there are a lot of silent homophobic people they just don't talk about it. that's very true 
And black people should know that more than anything because how often do we work for somebody who's racist? And we still get up and take our black ass to work. Yes, sir. So I don't agree with that when people say, well, you should have never took the job anyway. Listen, I got I got books. I was there. I was professional. What more was I supposed to do? Now, I have to ask, did you actually get paid? I did. Absolutely. Okay. Yes, okay. Sir. You got paid your full rate, whatever that is. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, okay. Because I was going to say, man, if they didn't pay you, I was going to say, damn, that's really fucked up. But Oh, no, no. I don't do, I don't even do any type of services without a paycheck. Smart. Okay. Okay. So you at least got paid. So some people are going to say, well, you got paid. So what if they cut you out the video? But that's not the point. The point is he had no reason to cut you out the video. Yeah. Yeah. And then the, and, and the other point that I was making, because there are other people that's doing interviews and saying, oh, Mustang is blaming the community and Mustang is attacking the community community for the baby canceling him from the video. And I did not attack the community as a whole. I said there were people in the community, all the comments that I read, all the negative things that were said, all of the harsh DMs I got were from the community. So even when I made the posts, like you said, it made the shade room and all this other stuff. I didn't expect it to go that far. I was just having, if I can be transparent, I was having a yeah. moment where I was venting my feelings because my feelings was hurt that people who say they love you and they support you didn't cheer me on or didn't apply me. They took a moment to drag me in the midst of trying to drag somebody else in a situation where it really didn't matter. That happened in 2021. And if God before us says he's more than the whole world against us, and if we really think about this thing, bro, the Bible says that God forgives us of our sins and throw them into the sea of forgetfulness and remember them no more. So if God can forget about what I did back then, what I'm still currently doing, or what I did yesterday, and say, hey, it's a brand new day, kid. Keep it pushing and work hard. Then why do we have to just drag on stuff? Well, I don't feel like he should have did this. Or I feel like I need to expose this. Or I feel like I got to talk about this. Like, bro, can we just celebrate other people? And if you don't rock with a person, just don't rock with them. There's a lot of people that I don't rock with, bro. I would never make a post about them. I would yep. never think negative about them. I would never attack their character or their career. I just be like, okay, cool. I saw them and I'm just like, okay, keep it pushing. I feel like people go so far in this community, the black community to tear each other down instead of actually building each other up. I, and I, I agree with you. And I think part of what it was too, was when, when we come from certain backgrounds, that could be anything, right? I think people put their own limitations on you. Oh, you're only going to go this far. You can only do this. Right. But I think once they start to see you get certain opportunities and say, wait a minute, don't you go thinking you some big time celebrity now? Don't you yeah. go? Oh, you in a video with the baby. It's like if you would have got casted by Beyonce, they really would have been hating. You see what I'm saying? So right. it, it was, it was kind of like, nah, you ain't up there. You drag you back down. Like, nah, this is what he really is. This is who he really used to do. It's, it's jealousy. Yes, sir, I, call I, I agree with you, but What's crazy is no matter how far God takes me, bro, I've always been the same person. I've always been humble. I, I even heard a cat. I can't remember his name, but he did an interview on me. He was like, out of all of the mess and drama stuff I've heard about content creators and porn stars, because they only made it about that. Forget me being in the music video. They only made it about the content and the porn stars. It's like, I've never heard Mustang's name in no mess or no drama. And people say he's a really nice person. And he's, and bro, I am. I just believe in treating people the way I want to be treated. And um, it's, it's like, if you know this about me, then why think that just because I got an opportunity that I feel like I'm better than you? Because I never said that. And I never thought that. I agree. It's people's own insecurities and they're, you know, it's just, it's just sad, but you know, you will bounce back from this. You will shake back, of course, and you're going to keep working. You will hustle anyway. I mean, that's how you got, man. I pray. Cause I've, I've had a few female gigs that I had lined up this month alone. All of them canceled because of this. Wow. I've, I've lost money because of this. Like, 
Yeah. Wow. Do you want to put out there how much or an estimate of what you lost? Um, with those three events alone, probably like three grand. Wow. Damn. And that was just three events. Damn. Okay. So this, this was okay. And see, that's the dark side of the internet too, right? Like on one hand, it's an opportunity for us to make a lot of money. On the other hand, it's like these people will really try to ruin your real life. Like, yes, you perform, you make your content, whatever, you do a job. But then you also have jobs outside of the fucking camera that people don't see. So, man, it's a shame. It but, really is. I, I want to say to what you just said, I do have other jobs outside of the camera, but people see that. They just don't want to respect it. They want to they want to keep me in this box. And my thing is, um, again, and I know you keep hearing me say, God, I'm a very spiritual person, but God has not given me the spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. Literally, no matter how many times they try to put me in this box, I'm not going to stay because that's not where I want to be. I like that. I like that. You're not going to give up. You're not going to give up. It's, it, it was an obstacle along the way, along the way, unfortunately, but they, they ain't stop nothing. Other opportunities will come and will present themselves. Can you speak on loving God, even though you are bisexual? Because for some reason, people think you can't be both. So <laughs> I got a lot of Bible thumpers that do watch that's going to say, well, he messing with me. And why he bringing up God so much? Can you speak on that a little bit? Yeah, I can. So I start with this scripture. We wrestle not against spiritual flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness in high places. Whatever those things be, uh, be it homosexuality, uh, be it a liar, wh whatever your issue is, it's a spiritual thing. But because God created us and he know who we are, that's something that if you have a relationship with him, then you just stay prayerful about it. You know, I pray about this thing every day. A lot of people are like, yo, can you just own who you are? If you're gay, just be gay. Or if you're whatever this is, if you're trying to make it seem like bisexual is better than gay, whatever the case may be. I'm just a very fluent guy. But in the midst of that, I'm a very respectable guy. And so there are some people, if they had a choice, they would not wake up and be gay. There are some people who didn't ask for this. If they could change the narrative of it, would. I just so happen to be one of those people. But in the midst of me not being able to change it and knowing that I know God, I'm also a preacher's kid. Mm -hmm. I know that if I stay in prayer about something that bothers me, God is obligated to cover me and protect me. I like, wow, I like that. Okay. Well, no, CP, he said, no, no matter what, and, and he a preacher's kid, so what y'all gonna say? He know the word probably most <laughs> better than a lot of y'all. I mean, I, and I could throw scriptures all day. Romans 8 and 28. For we know that all things work together. That's murderer, liar, adulterer, fornicator, homosexuality, whatever the case may be. Those things work together for the good of them who love God. If you love God, no matter what that thing is, it's still working for your good. Wow. Okay. So basically... In, in the way I will put it, y'all, don't think that God can throw him away just because you don't agree with his lifestyle. God ain't through with him. So um, I appreciate you for coming up. Do you want to tell the people where they can actually find you, follow you in any other projects you possibly want to promote? Um, Yeah. Um, If you watch Sisters season one, the finale, Tyler Perry show Sisters, I'm on that. I'm on all the Queens men. P Valley, quite a few appearances I've done in a few shows. Um, I do have some future things coming up. You can follow me on Instagram at it's underscore Mustang. Um, you can also follow me on Twitter at it's Mustang. Yeah, and just look forward to some new projects. I appreciate that, man. And I appreciate your time. Um, I should have this video up in the next day or two. Okay. And then I'm going to hit you and just let you know that it's up. Okay, take your time, man. I enjoyed it. Thanks for having me on and um, look forward to hearing it. Of course, man. Take care. You have a good one, all right? As well. Uh, it's
storm show. Hey, it's a storm show.